Hey guys, want to install TWRP recovery on your Android phone but don't have a PC? Well, no worries. In this video, I'll show you step by step how to install TWRP without a computer using just another Android phone. This detailed guide works on almost all Android devices, including phones from Xiaomi, OnePlus, Realme, Pixel, Nothing, and more. Whether you're using an older model with a dedicated recovery partition or a newer one with an AB partition setup. However, this method does not work on Samsung devices because Samsung phones don't support fast boot flashing commands. But don't worry, I've already made a separate video showing how to flash TWRP on Samsung without a PC. So make sure to check that one out too. Now before we start, make sure your bootloader is unlocked. This is the only prerequisite to install TWRP on any Android phone. If your bootloader is still locked, go watch my bootloader unlock guide. It's already available on the channel for most Android brands. Alright, enough intro, let's get started. For this video, I'm using my Poco F4 running on Android 14, but don't worry. This same method also works perfectly for newer Android versions, like Android 15 or even Android 16. First, let's confirm the current recovery installed on this device. Let me quickly boot into recovery mode. To do this, I'll power off the device and then press and hold the power plus volume up buttons until the recovery screen appears. As you can see, the device is currently running on MIUI recovery, which is the stock recovery that comes pre-installed with every POCO phone. Now let's reboot the device and move on with the process of installing TWRP on any Android phone. The first step in installing TWRP recovery is to enable developer options on your phone. So open your settings, then go to about phone. If you're using a Redmi or Poco phone, tap on MIUI version seven times until it says you are now a developer. But for other brands like OnePlus, Realme or Google Pixel, tap on build number seven times instead. This will unlock the developer options menu. Once that's done, go back to settings and open the developer option section. On Redmi or Poco phones, you'll find developer option under additional settings. While on OnePlus, Realme or Pixel devices, it will be located under system settings. Here, as you can see, the bootloader is already unlocked. If your bootloader is still locked, make sure to unlock it before moving forward. Otherwise, TWRP installation won't work. Now scroll down and enable USB debugging. This option allows your phone to communicate with another device using ADB commands. Once USB debugging is enabled, let's move on to the next step, downloading the TWRP recovery file. First, open any browser and search for TWRP along with your device name. Since I'm using the POCO F4 for this video, I'll type TWRP for POCO F4. Now open the first website that appears, that's TWRP.me, the official website to download TWRP recovery for Android devices. Once you're on the page, scroll down until you find the download section. Here you can see different versions of TWRP available. In my case, you'll notice it says TWRP for Munch. That's because Munch is the code name for the POCO F4. You might see two types of files. One is a zip file and the other is an IMG file. It's best to download both files, but the most important one is the image file because we'll be flashing that using Fastboot through the Bookjigger app. All right, it's time for the next step, installing TWRP without a PC for this, you'll need another Android phone. I'm using a Google Pixel 6a as the second device, but you can use any Android phone for this process. Now make sure to move the TWRP image file that you downloaded earlier to your second phone. I've already copied mine over. Next, open the Google Play Store and download an app called Bugjigger Mobile ADB. This app basically turns your Android phone into a mini ADB and fast boot tool, so you can flash or send commands, just like you would from a computer. Now connect both phones using a USB Type-C to Type-C cable or use an OTG adapter. If one of your phones has a different port, make sure you got charging status on your main phone. 
As soon as you connect both devices, you'll get a pop-up on the other phone asking for connection access, just tap OK. On your main phone, you'll see a pop-up asking to allow USB debugging. Make sure to check Always Allow from this device and then tap Allow. If the connection is successful, you'll see your device name appear at the top of the Bugjeeger app. Now under the Fastboot section, tap on Reboot Bootloader. Your device will restart and enter Fastboot mode. Just wait until it fully boots. And yes, once the device has booted into Fastboot mode, Bookjager also asks for permission to access Fastboot. Just tap OK to confirm it. And yes, our device is connected. Now it's time to run the command to install TWRP. Just tap on the small terminal icon at the bottom to open the command window. First, we are going to temporarily boot into TWRP recovery instead of flashing it immediately. To do this, type this command. Fast boot boot and select the TWRP image file that you transferred to your other Android phone. Once selected, run the command and your device should boot into TWRP recovery within a few seconds. If your device doesn't boot into TWRP using this command, try using these instead. And yes, we're now booted into TWRP recovery. Since we only booted it temporarily using Fastboot, let's now make it permanent. There are a few different ways to do that, depending on the files available for your device. If your device has a TWRP zip file available, this is the easiest method. But before flashing it, there's one important thing to check. If your internal storage looks empty or shows random folder names, that means your data is encrypted. To fix that, you'll need to format the data partition. Just tap on wipe, then choose format data. This will completely format your phone and remove the encryption. Once that's done, go back and select Reboot and then select Recovery to boot back into TWRP. Now transfer the TWRP.zip file to your phone's internal storage. Go to Install, select the zip file and swipe to Flash. This will install TWRP permanently on your Android phone. Once flashing is done, just reboot the device into Recovery again. Now option 2, if you don't have a TWRP zip file, no worries. There are a few other ways to make it permanent. First, go to Advanced and look for Flash Current TWRP. Select and, and then swipe to confirm Flash. This will automatically install the version of TWRP that's currently running. You don't even need to select a file. After it's done, reboot to Recovery to confirm the installation. Now option 3, if there's no flash current TWRP option, then look for install recovery RAM disk inside the advanced section. Tap it, then select your TWRP.image file and swipe to flash. This method replaces the stock recovery stored in your boot image with TWRP. And last option 4, if you don't have a zip file and neither of the advanced options are available, then you can flash the .img file directly. From the main screen tap install, then at the bottom choose install image. Select your twrp.image file, choose recovery as the partition and swipe to flash. Alright, now keep this in mind. Once TWRP is installed permanently using any method, you must reboot the device back into TWRP recovery first before booting into the system. This step is really important because some devices automatically restore the stock recovery during the first boot. So, to prevent that from happening, always reboot into TWRP once after installation. Once in TWRP, you can now reboot to the system. The first boot might take a little longer than usual and if you formatted your device earlier, it'll ask you to set it up from scratch. In my case, I didn't format the device, so it will directly boot into the system. Alright, the device has booted up successfully. Now before wasting any time, let's confirm whether TWRP is permanently installed or not. So let's quickly boot into recovery mode. First, power off your device, then press and hold the volume up and power buttons together for a few seconds. 
And there we go. The phone has booted right back into TWRP recovery. That means TWRP is now permanently installed on our device. And that's it. You have successfully installed TWRP on your Android device. Whether you're rooting your phone, flashing a custom ROM, or just taking a full backup, TWRP is an essential tool for any Android enthusiast. Alright, that's enough from my side. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.